Yo, yo, what's the vibes? Back with another video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, drop a comment down below. I drop daily videos, daily uploads. Let's get right into it. Lil Uzi Vert puts a $24 million diamond in the middle of his forehead. Hmm. Hmm. Now, do I believe this young man has $24 million? No. I believe a lot of these jewelers overcharge these artists because they're not knowing where the stuff is coming from, allegedly. Just saying. I mean, do you guys think he paid $24 million? I mean, just because he told you that doesn't mean you were actually there with him during the transaction is what I'm saying. So never believe everything that's told to you or everything you just read. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm guessing his close circle, people asked him, yo, why don't you just put the diamond on a ring? He basically said, well, you could lose a ring. Well, that's why you have insurance, because he claims he has insurance on the diamond, which he should. So if it were to be on a ring and you were to lose the ring, it's insured anyway. Just say you didn't want it on a ring and you want it to be out there. You want it to be a cartoon character. You want it to be. I can't even really explain this one here, man. This dude got a diamond in the middle of his forehead. There's so many concerns in my mind. Like, you know, when you buy, like right now, I'm, I'm, I'm literally like rubbing my forehead right now. What if he rubs his forehead too hard and boop, the diamond, like, I don't know, falls out. I mean, I think he said it's what reinforced with a steel bar or some crazy for one, the skin on the forehead is very thin. So that means you had to maybe get into the skull to really place it. You get me? You, you got, I mean, touch your forehead right now. I don't know if you guys got big old meaty foreheads, but mine's is pretty like the skin is, there's not much skin around your forehead. You can literally almost touch your skull. So that means they had to place that diamond in his skull, it, it, the weight can't just be supported being implanted in your skin. You get me? You see where I'm going with this? So forget about the cost of the diamond. What was the cost of the surgery? Because you don't go to your regular dentist or jewelry store or, or, or regular, these regular, you know what I mean? You don't go to regular, you go into Dr. Kevorkian. <laughs> you go into Hollywood. You go to Hollywood doctors. You know what I'm saying? Because for you to get your face augmented like that, you get me? That's that's a bit, like I said, these guys are cartoon characters. When I see them, you know what I think of? Because you see, a lot of hip hop, it's marketed to, uh, you know, our community. But the Caucasian community, they're more the financial supporters you go to coachella look at the crowd it's, it's not much melanated people you get me so you look at a mom the average caucasian mom she picks up this album in best buy right follow me right she picks up this album in best buy she takes a look at it and this could be any mom Caucasian, melanated, it doesn't matter. It could be any mom. They pick up this album in store. They take a look at the cover. They say, hmm. The son is saying, mommy, mommy, that's my guy. I, I, get that for me. That's my, I'm trying to bump Uzi. She looks at the CD and she's like, hmm. This dude got a, what is that, a diamond in the middle of his head? Tattoos everywhere. You kind of look like a cartoon character. You, 
you, you get where I'm coming from. You're, you're more fictional, a fictional because the average human is not walking around with a diamond encrusted in their forehead. Like I said, man, this is the entertainment business. If you're not entertained, they're not doing their jobs. I feel the same way. If I'm not keeping you guys entertained, I'm not doing my job. <laughs> you feel me? It is what it is, man. Uh, let's see how long this charade goes on or if he lose a diamond because or somebody snatch it out his forehead. We don't know what's about to happen. But I, all I know is this man put a diamond in the middle of his forehead during the situation with the world right now. Man, people are hungry. Somebody going to snatch that diamond out of his head, man. You hear me saying it right now. I don't wish nothing bad, but I'm, I'm, I'm realistic. I'm realistic. I'm from the neighborhood. I'm realistic. He's from the neighborhood, allegedly. He's from Philly. You know what I mean? So he should know the vibes. You go home, guys in Philly, they they hungry, bro. Know the vibes. You got a diamond, a 20, and everybody know what you paid. And I think, I believe he went to Eliante. So that made that jeweler's name go through the roof. Because you see, what a lot of people don't understand is when these artists come out with these new jewelry, a lot of it is rented. Just like how you uh, are paying loans on your car, they're paying loans to a dealer. Let's say this guy does a show. Boom, bang, did the show, bang. They might get 15 racks. The jeweler waiting literally right behind the scenes. The jewelers be at the shows, man. So as soon as you walk off with the bread, he like, yo, man, I got this chain. I got this bracelet. You looking like, yo, how much it costs? He like, yo, it's 15. Give me seven. Pay me later. And But just tell everybody where you got it from. Because remember, you hot. So you're like a billboard. You're a walking billboard. Everyone wants to post on you. I'm going to keep it honest. This is what it is. When you're hot, put these clothes on. Put these shoes on. Put this cap on. Put this jewelry on. You're a mannequin, bro. All I'm going to say, know the vibes. Real stand alone. Hey, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, stay subscribed. I drop daily videos, daily uploads. And now welcome to K-Will TV. I'm going to catch you all in the next one. Peace.